What's up, everybody? Back. I'm Jack Kirby here, and I'm back with another Marvel figure. Marvel Legends, to be exact. But you kind of already figured that. Now, please ignore the orange thing on the packaging. I have not taken that off yet. But uh, I don't even know if I can. That's why I haven't tried, because it might mess up the packaging. So I'm just leaving it on there. But that's okay. So, this is Marvel's, from the Captain America Civil War line, this is Marvel's Falcon. EMCU version, not the comics version. I will talk about differences uh, when I get to the figure. I like this figure. I love, I love Falcon, first of all. So, you naturally have to watch Falcon and Winter Soldier. But, and I will be watching the new not Captain America movie, naturally. Well, it's me. What do you expect? It's a Marvel Legends series here. But let's talk about the box before I get too wordy here. It says, Marvel Legends series there. It says, Marvel's Captain America Civil War there. It does say Marvel's Falcon there. And some other things I can't read. But we'll go on. Uh, both sides are just rendered pictures, just like it was with that Captain America figure I reviewed. Just... Uh, stationed to whichever side it was on. On the back here, we've got, of course, it says Marvel Legends series up there. It says Marvel's Captain America Civil War there. We got a blurb I'll read after I finish the rest of the packaging. Uh, you got a picture of the figure there. Nice figure. And then you got, look out for these figures. You got Armored Spider-Man. You got Gamora. Mind you, these are all comic versions. I would say that. Living Laser, which they have not done in the MCU yet. Marvel's Rage. You got Daredevil in the yellow suit. The mustard and ketchup suit, as they made jokes about during She-Hulk. You've got Vision. You've got Ant-Man. We won't say which version, because I can't tell. I can't tell if that's supposed to be Scott Lang or if that's supposed to be Hank Pym. So we will just say it's Ant-Man for now. Alright, so and then of course over here you got the safety stuff and it's the same with the bottom. Okay, so over here it says, the blurb says, In multiple languages, I believe one is Spanish, uh, With speed and finesse, Falcon soars through the skies with his red wing drone at the ready. Alright, let's get the box out of the way. And talk about this figure, who was very tiny on my head. I'll do a size comparison next to Sergeant Slaughter here in a little bit after I take his wings off and stuff like that. Because I'm definitely switching the wings out for right now. Just so you guys can kind of see what's up. Well, and then it'll be easier to do a size comparison because the wings are kind of big. Make sure you guys can see him well. He's a very detailed figure. I mean, I'm going to bring him up to the camera in case you guys can't see that well. Yeah, because this isn't really the... You guys can see okay. Okay. But first and foremost, we've got some accessories for him. We've got a backpack with no wings. So, like, he doesn't have his wings out, like, when he's standing around and stuff. We've got a face head of Anthony Mackie without his goggles on. Even though I think he looks cool with his goggles on. We've got his Wed Ring Drone, which is a change from the comics. The first change with Cat Falcon I'm going to mention. And that is that he uses a drone named Wed Wing instead of an actual bird. I believe it was supposed to be a falcon. Duh. So that's a difference. And I will show you real quick how it attaches to the back of his um, back. So you guys can see. And this is totally not my first time doing this. Oh no, I've totally done this before. A couple times before. I'm totally lying, guys, if you can't, guys can't tell. But does his drone look really good? Yes, it does. Ah, you know what? Give me a hot second, guys. 
Because apparently, this thing's harder to get on here than I thought it was. And you know what? Jack's given up. All right. His wings, I'm gonna go over his wings here real quick. They go up. They go up like this, which is kind of cool, which I believe is something from the movies, I believe. Yeah, let me fix his head real quick. There we go. So they go up and down. It's great for on the shelf. All right, so I'm gonna take them off now, put them off the side, put his other backpack on, the one that doesn't have the wings, as I said earlier. One, it's because of articulation reasons. And two, um, um, two, it's just easier that way. All right, so articulation-wise, let me well, let me get you guys a real good look at this figure. Oh my God, he's gorgeous. I mean, for being tall as it is, it's only like a maybe two, three-inch figure. It's got some good articulation in it. I mean, good um, coloration, good paint applications. Not perfect, obviously. It's a two-inch figure. But, good. Alright, so his arm can go out. can go down. It can go 360. It does only have a single elbow joint, which is fine. No wrist articulation, which I totally forgot to check on cap. Shh, don't tell nobody. Only a waist swivel. No ab crunch. Uh, legs can go up. Out. Again, which I forgot to check on Cap. Cannot go back because of his butt again. Just like on Cap. And it's got a really good double knee uh, joint. You know, so for when he's flying in the air, he wants to kick somebody in the, knee somebody in the face. That's right, I made that joke. That's right, I said it. Again, this is probably the best standing figure I've ever owned. Probably, it helps that it's two or three inches tall. I don't know how tall it actually is, but um, that helps. Another difference in the from the comics, well, one his suit, his suit is red and white, not militaristic like this, and his wings are actually below his arms. And he does have superpowers in the comics. He can communicate with birds, I believe it is. Again, that would have been really silly for the MCU. I could see why they went with. You know, this version. Alright, let's get Sergeant Slaughter real quick and uh, compare heights here. I mean... <laughs> so I don't have any other figures that are closer to his height. But you see how short he is? I mean, he is tiny. He is a tiny little guy. But I love him. He may be tiny, tiny, but he is awesome. So, if you can find this guy, I definitely recommend. Especially if you don't. Especially if you're not a huge Marvel Legends guy and you just want somebody... Oh, I know I know something that's around the same height. Maybe a little bit shorter. Uh, I'll grab O'Connor because he's standing up and I can see him easier. Alright, this is a little metal figure I got. Well, actually, he's a lot shorter. <laughs> he's probably about an inch tall. So, yeah. He's probably like two or three inches tall. But, yeah. But, um... So, there's that. I do recommend him. Don't spend a ton on him. I mean, I wouldn't spend more than 60 if you ask me. I mean, I know Falcon's awesome, and he's an awesome character and all, but don't pay these scalpers 100 bucks or something. I don't know what he's going for on eBay. I haven't looked. Literally haven't looked, but I wouldn't pay more than 60 I would say that for any figure. Even um, Power Ranger figures. I'd say that. Don't, don't pay these scalpers what they deserve. What they want. I mean, it's ridiculous. But that's me yammering again. Me going on and on again about something you guys don't care about. I'm going to let you guys go. I will check, catch you later.